Hey, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and today I'm going to show you how to play Lola by The Kinks. Here's what we're going to be working with. So it's a little bit more than simple chords and strumming. Like all the chord shapes are pretty basic. There are some bar chords in here, but I'm going to show you how to avoid those completely. So you can play this song with like very simple chord shapes. It's more about the rhythm. You know, there's like a lot of cool rhythm stuff going on in this song. And it's a really good like late beginner to intermediate tune, I feel, for that reason. We're going to get started with the intro. And before we go too far, if you do need help with the basic chord shapes and, you know, getting all that stuff together, I have a complete beginner's course, which is designed to help you with your rhythm and with your dexterity and all the fundamental skills and being able to put it all together, you know, to go from like an absolute beginner to a confident strummer. I'll put a link to that in the corner. Our chords are C, D, E. And for our C chord, we're going to go So one E and a two E and a three E and a. Now we do have to count this song in 16th notes because of the pacing of it. It's just too awkward to count it. One and two and three and. We gotta go into the next gear counting one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. That is called 16th note counting because we're taking one, two, three, four and we're dividing each number into four bits. One E and a. And then four times four is 16. So we get 16 little subdivisions. As far as the strumming pattern with our C chord, we strum C on beat one. One E and a, and then two E and a, and then here we go three E and a. So it's pretty simple as far as the down and up strokes are concerned, you know, just a couple down strokes and then down, up, down, up. And then we go into our D chord. And for that, we're gonna go four E and. Or you could just think about it as miss up down you know it's up to you if you want to think about it in a simpler way we could just say the strokes we could just go down 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 up down up miss up down you know and we switch into d on that miss but i think learning how to count it is going to have a lot of future benefits you know when it comes to learning more and more songs once you kind of have the mechanics of rhythm down you work on that going between c and d just going one e and a up down and then we play our E chord and we pluck so I'm just plucking the top three strings descending so just descending through the strings the thinnest then the B string and then the G string and I descend through them three times And then after I descend through them three times, I pluck the thinnest string, and then I ascend through them. Once again, I'm gonna count this out, starting on our E shape. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So you can see that up above. You know, it might seem tedious. You might think like, I don't like this guy because he's trying to make me count and I just want to play the song. But you know, it's never going to sound like the song if you don't nail the rhythm. And if you can nail the rhythm without counting, awesome, do that. You know, I, I encourage that. But for those of you who are having trouble, that's what this counting is for. And now I'm going to play it super duper slowly, the entire intro. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E.
That's gonna come back a few times in this song, minus the picking. You know, we'll just add a strumming pattern there instead, but like the... You know, that's gonna come back a whole bunch of times. Anyways, on to the tune. In the verse, gonna start on an E chord, and then we go A and D. So E, A, D, make sure you're comfortable with those. So the progression itself is very simple, just a measure of E, and then A and D are actually sharing a measure. So, you know, if you want to work on the shapes as well, you can just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, just doing down strokes, four down strokes on E, two on A, and then two on D. And you could even sing the song like that, just going, I met her in a club down in Old Soho where you drink champagne and it tastes just like Coca-Cola. C-O-L-A, Cola. You know, and I'm just playing downstrokes and I'm singing the tune. That's an awesome exercise. Like it's a good intermediary step before you start strumming it. Cause singing is kind of like strumming in that it has a lot of rhythm behind it, right? And like you're strumming and singing, it's like two kinds of rhythm going on at the same time. It's a big hurdle to, to get over. And you know, if we, if we break it down into steps like that, it, it really helps. Anyways, that's our progression. As far as the strumming pattern that we're gonna play with it, it goes like this. I'm gonna do it slowly. Three E and a four E and a. And this is one of those patterns where it changes throughout the tune. This is kind of like an approximation of, of like the, the groove or the feeling of the song. We can break it down. On beat one, we go one E and a. And that R just means root. And basically, you just do a little downstroke, you know? So you do a big downstroke on one, and, one, E, and, uh. And then on beat two, we're going down, down, uh. Or with the counting, two, E, and, uh. And I want you to learn it in these four parts, you know, beat by beat. Beat three is the same as before. Down, up, down, up. Three, E, and, ah. Uh. And then beat four is really similar too. We're gonna go, Miss up, down, up, or four, E, and up. So this is really similar to the pattern that we played in the intro. We're just adding a couple more strokes, really. And you work on each part of it, and we put it together super slowly. Three, E, and a, four, E, and a, one, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four. Or with the strokes, down, root, down, down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Sometimes you can like write it out in English, you know, like the, the strokes and just say it, you know, as Pat. This is a good song to practice that with, just going down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, you know, just saying it over and over again. Down, root, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, root, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. You know, just saying the pattern over and over again when you like tap your lap or whatever, that's a really good way to get the rhythm inside. You know, instead of just trying to get the strokes and wondering like, I'm doing the strokes right, but it still doesn't feel right. You know, it's it's that internal sense of rhythm that's that's missing. Anyways, that's our strumming pattern. And when we apply it to our chord progression in our verse, we play it one time on E. And then we play the first half on A. And then we switch to D. And I know the strumming pattern's really quick and the switch from A to D therefore has to be really quick if you wanna completely nail it. But you know what? If you watch anybody playing live, when they do it like full speed, I'll just slow that down there. You know, they're, what they're really doing is like down, root, down, down. And they're leaving the chord early on that upstroke so they can land on the D chord on time, you know? So it's okay to leave before the D chord in order to arrive right on that D chord, right on beat three. Either way, let's just play through that progression a couple times, nice and slow. Three E and a four E and a. And 
And now at the end of the verse, they do add that intro thing again. So we'd be playing like, in a dark brown voice, she said, Lola, Lola. The other section is the chorus. We start off on B7, going into F sharp. And for that, we could play like a, you know, bar chord, or we could just play the easy F, which is we skip the first string, play the first fret of the B string with our index. Then our middle goes on the second fret of the next string on the G string. Our pinky goes on the third fret of the D string, and our ring finger goes just above it on the third fret of A. And then our thumb mutes the thickest string and we take that one fret higher and we get F sharp. So we go from B7 into that shape. And I like to place these two fingers first, get my F sharp chord. And then from that F sharp, we go into A and that's it. You know, so it's just three chords, B7, F sharp, and A. Once again, you can just try doing some downstrokes only, you know, one, two, danced all night under a leg. Candlelight. She picked me up. You know, I'm just doing downstrokes only. Otherwise, we're going to play our strumming pattern once on B7, once on F sharp, and then two times on A, like this. Well, we drank champagne and danced all night under electric candlelight. She picked me up, said, and said, Dear boy, won't you come home with me? And that bit of chord progression happens two times in the song. The other other section is the bridge and that's the part where it goes I pushed her away. So let's just work through that one. It's more of like a chord shot thing. We have our A chord into E into B7 and E into B7 we can just leave our middle finger down. That's a nice quick way and we're going to need a quick way to do it because we're, we're switching chords so fast during this part. We're going to play the A chord on beat one. One, E, and ah. And we play the E on the uh, you know, so one, E, and ah. Three, E, and ah. You can see how it all lines up there. You know, I recommend starting with that, just going one, E, and ah. Two, E, and ah. Three, E, and ah. Four, E, and ah. One, E, and ah. Two, You know, and that's how we start. And then we can add some strumming at the end of that B7 to fill in that empty space. So I'm just adding up, down, 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 up. And for that, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So three E and, or up, down, and then for 40 and us, just down, down. You know, so just take a look at it. I know it gets pretty hairy when you add all these little little bits and all these details, but that's totally what's gonna make this rock out. You're welcome to just once again, feel it out. Like that's how I figured this out. You know, like I, I just, just played it. Push her away. And I was like, hey, what am I doing there? You know, so if you're at that point, you're totally welcome to do it. But if you just wanna copy my version of feeling it out, that's it, you know, written out in, the language of music. Anyways, we do that three times. Pushed her away. I walked to the door. I fell to the floor. I got, and now here it's different. Same rhythm, we go a down on my knees. So the rhythm's identical, but we're going E, G sharp minor, which is a bar chord. I bar the fourth fret and then I add these two fingers. I'm gonna show you an easier way to do this. Don't worry if this is too much, but let me just show you the real way. I just add my fingers there on the sixth fret on those on the A and D string. And then I drag it up and I make this shape, which is like an A minor shape, but up here and with my finger barring the fourth fret. That's C sharp minor. And we would just go one and two and three and four and one. Or we could just go E, E, A. So we could just go, I got down on my knees. 
doesn't sound exactly the same, but it does work with the melody. And, you know, when you're playing a song, nobody's going to be like, hey, I think that should have been G minor, sharp minor, you know, unless somebody who actively plays and performs Lola is there. <laughs> Anyways, after that, we just play the B7 chord with our strumming pattern once, and that is the bridge. So I'm just going to go through the whole thing. A one, two, three, I pushed her away. I walked to the door. I fell to the floor. I got down on my knees. Then I looked at her and she at me. Or I got down on my knees. Then I looked at her. You know, and that's the other way to get through it. Anyways, those are all the components of the song. When it comes to putting it all together, the one little detail that I'd like to point out is that just before the second chorus, when we're playing the verse, we go mixed up, shook up world, except for Lola. Lola, Lola, Lola. And we just stay on the A chord instead of switching to D. And then we can go into the second chorus. Well, I left home. Otherwise, all the parts are exactly as I've shown you in this lesson. So you can see that's the order of everything. You can write that down and listen to the original recording, keeping in mind at the, right before the second chorus, we hang on to the A chord. And um, if you want a full playthrough where you can you know, play along with me, with the beat, with the melody, going through the entire song from start to finish, seeing my hands and all the chords and lyrics, that's available on my Patreon page. I'll put a link to that down below. Also, if you want help with pretty much any aspect of guitar. I have a ton of courses. I have my complete beginner's course and my free ebook, which are meant to give you the ultimate foundation. And you know, you'll be able to go into songs with all that background knowledge that you need to, to be able to accomplish everything, you know? And then I have a bunch of co courses for moving past that, including Strumming Made Simple, which is a really good one for learning to do songs that have more intricate rhythm like this one and uh, a few other ones. Please check those out if you'd like to help support the channel. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy learning with me. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.